Hello boys and girls, nice to see you. Hope everyone is well. Today I'm going to read a story about some animals that are in danger. And let's find out what that means. The story is called The Journey Home. And you can see here's a small boat with some animals. We've got a panda, a polar bear, an orangutan and an elephant. The story is by Fran Preston Gannon. And Fran also drew the pictures. Let's look inside. Hello. Fish in the sea. And here we have some icebergs floating. The journey home. The frozen sea was melting. Where has all my ice gone? The polar bear wondered. And where is my food? He looked around. Well, I can't stay here, he decided. So he went for a swim. All of us are very good swimmers. Look, here he is. As he swam along, he found a little boat alone upon the sea. This will be easier than swimming, he thought, as he climbed in. Here he is. I wonder where he's going in his boat. Before long, he came upon a city where machines rumbled and tall buildings hid the sky. You see the tall buildings, lots of big ships. And look, here's our friend Polar Bear. What are you doing? asked a panda watching from the docks. I'm sailing in my boat, replied the polar bear. It's easier than swimming, you see. Well, I can't stay here, said the panda, lowering, lowering himself down into the boat. I think I'll come with you. He does look rather sad, doesn't he? And together, the two animals sailed along, listening to the seagulls and saying hello to the fish. After a while, they floated up a river to where a jungle used to be. Oh look, the trees have all been cut down. I've nothing to climb anymore, said an orang Utan. My trees are disappearing. The panda and the polar bear looked around and saw that she was right. Well, you could join us if you like, said the panda. Perhaps we will spot some trees along the way. So she climbed in and off they went. As they sailed on, they looked up at the sky and saw the beautiful shapes the clouds had made. You see, this one's like a castle. And that one's like a lizard. What's that behind the rock? Said the orangutan suddenly. Shh, said an elephant. I'm trying to hide. Someone's trying to steal my tusks. Here are the tusks. Why don't you come with us? Whispered the panda. We can sail far away from here. So the elephant climbed in too. Well, I hope the boat's big enough. And so the animals laughed and played as their small boat carried them further and further. But the sea started to swell and dark clouds appeared in the sky. Perhaps there was a storm coming. Look, the waves look very big and the boat suddenly looks very small. The storm passed and the animals knew the terrible waves had carried them far, far away. They thought of their homes and how much they missed them. As they sailed on, they all felt very lost on the big blue sea. A dodo watched from his island 
as the boat and its animals came into view. Hello there, he called to them as they sailed closer. We're lost, shouted the polar bear to the dodo. We've sailed too far and now we want to go home. Well, of course you can go home, said the dodo. Really, said the animals together. When? You can go home when the trees grow back and when the ice returns and when the cities stop getting bigger and when the hunting stops. Oh, said the orangutan thoughtfully. And when will that be? asked the polar bear. I don't know, said the dodo. Let's see what tomorrow brings. They all sat together on the island, looking at the sun setting. And look, it says, meet the crew here. The polar bear's home is under threat. The Arctic is getting warmer because of climate change and the sea ice where he feeds is melting away. Elephants are often killed by poachers as hunters for their tusks, which are made of ivory. Habitat loss is also threatening their future. The panda only eats bamboo and because of the destruction of its natural home, it is harder and harder for it to find the food it needs. The orangutan is losing its home. It lives in forests, but due to overlogging, people cutting down the forest, overlogging for wood, its home is getting smaller and smaller. The dodo is an extinct animal. It doesn't live anymore. Due to overhunting and the destruction of its habitat, there are no dodos left. Well, that's very interesting. Look, here's the back cover and here's the front cover. And it makes one big picture. The Journey Home, a super story about animals that are threatened. I hope you liked it. See you next time. Bye-bye.